several questions about how to use the data logger software. So what we'll do is just launch ACES software uh, and then hit the data logger. That will populate the uh, data log viewer. So we'll just go to file, open, you're going to look for your CSV file. This is the E85 tune that's um, on a supercharged car. So let's just look at it briefly and see what's going on. Um, on the sensor side, you have these uh, predefined selections that you can select in the drop down and look at targeted uh, sensor information that was recorded by ACES internally. Uh, if you want to add to or take away to any of those values, you can just right click, uh, edit channel, and then just look and bring over whichever sensor value that, that you're wanting to bring in. Uh, you can just click on it and then say you want to look at fuel pressure, you can just click on it and bring it over. Uh, but if it doesn't populate, then you got to look and make sure that you have enough um, areas available here. So this is pretty full. So we'll just, this only has one um, O2 sensor, so we'll just bring this one back over. And let's say that we want to look and see what fuel pressure is. So we can click that and bring it over. If you want to change the color, you can just select a little palette, do your color, and hit save. So now everything that's been recorded is populated here. So let's say um, you're trying to smooth out your um, actual AFR and um, your targeted AFR and RPM, and you're just trying to get your tip in dialed in. Um, as you can see, we're in um, a closed loop state here, and ACES is kind of hunting just to try to hit target, bring it in, overshoots, uh, undershoots um, here, and then starts bringing it back up. Um, as we roll into it, uh, you can see that we're getting about 2% lean here. Then as we continue to roll into it, we're still lean. Um, as he stays into the throttle, we start getting lean leaner and then you know we end up around eight nine percent so what I would do in these values you know as throttles ramping up I would go in and from 165 kPa at 5600 rpms I would look at this and I would add five percent um, I would look here and I would see that my actual um, AFR and my injector loop percent is is two percent off, so I would go there from from forty seven eighty five to to fifty six at one hundred hundred sixty four kPa one hundred fifty five to one hundred fifty six kPa, and then I would add you know three or four percent and start getting more fuel um, in this, so it it actually hits my command. It, Hope that makes sense. If these videos help. Please like and subscribe. It helps my channel uh, and, and keeps me motivated to do this. Appreciate it.